Hello everyone, Duncan from 6.5 here. We're going to look at how to install uh, the new Google Drive Stream tool uh, onto our computer. And uh, in this video, we'll be transitioning from the existing Google uh, Drive synchronization tool, uh, which on a Mac is in your top right up here. Um, on a PC, it'll be down by the clock in the bottom right. Um, and this particular tool has been the one that's been around for some time, and we're going to transition from that over to Drive File Stream. Um, so the other, the way this uh, particular tool works is that it puts a folder on your computer, and it downloads all of the uh, files and folders um, all the way through. Every single file actually exists on your computer, so it's kind of a duplicate of what's in the cloud. Uh, and then if you uh, manipulate or change one of these files, it then synchronizes it back up to Google Drive. Uh, the way Google File Stream works is it actually gives you a, uh, a drive on your computer that looks a bit like a hard drive that you've plugged in, and it uh, gives you a list of all of your files, but they're not actually on your computer. So that means that in Google Drive for the moment, I'm currently using about 30 gigabytes of space on my computer for this. Um, when we've changed over to FileStream, I'll actually be using literally only a megabyte or two of information. Um, and then I'll use some data for anything that I define as being offline. So let's get started on uh, how we do this install. So here's the URL um, to our Google FileStream uh, page. And because I'm on Mac, I'm going to hit download for Mac. Um, now that's going to download a file as you can see here. And uh, once it's downloaded, I'm going to open it up and we'll go through the install process. Okay, so we're just gonna pop into admin.google.com and go to App Settings, G Suite, and then uh, Drive and Docs, and then scroll down to Data Access. Uh, and this is just to show you uh, where the settings are to enable Drive File Stream, and just in the middle there, we've got Drive File Stream, and it's ticked. Um, now, these are already enabled, and that's because uh, Google are enabling this for everybody by default, um, with a view to um, uh, deprecating the current version by December. Uh, so you don't have to do anything in here in order to be able to make Drive File Stream available to you and your users, because it's already been set up and made available for you just now. Okay, so my download has finished and it's opened up. So I'm going to just double click on the installer. That's going to go through a little bit of a, a verification process. It's just opened up on my other screen. Let me just drag that across, there it is. And once that's done, the installer is gonna open. Here we go. Uh, just uh, wanna say, yep, good, we're all good. Let's just go through here. It's obviously gonna use some space for the application itself. I need to enter my password to allow Mac um, permission to put it in. We'll go through, write some files, install the program. There we go, actually very quick. And now what I've got to do is sign in with my Google account. So I'm gonna use the same one that I use for my current Google Drive uh, synchronization tool. Okay, enter my SMS code and sign in. Now, obviously, uh, Google Firestream needs some permissions or you need to grant the application some permissions to your account. Don't have much choice here, really, because in order to make it work, it has to have those permissions. So you click Allow, and off it goes. So what's happened now is we have a new icon, and you'll see it's slightly different to the original one. Um, it's got a little box around it, as opposed to the old one, which does not. And uh, what it's going to do is start to synchronize those documents onto my computer. Now, as I mentioned, uh, you'll see now in your Finder or in your uh, Windows Explorer, you'll have a new um, uh, synchronization tool uh, as, it, as it's pulling down these files. Um, you'll see a new item. So there's my existing Google Drive and there's the new one. And the new one looks more like it's a USB drive or an external network drive or something that's plugged in. And we've got My Drive and Team Drives in there. And My Drive, as you can see here, will look almost identical now to my current Google Drive folder. Of course, the only difference is that this one has all of the data in it, and this one has uh, an indication of the data that's there. So let's see what happens if I now want to open something. 
So let's have a look at this PDF. Now I'll click on it to open it. You see it's loading a little bit and you'll see the little icon to the right of the name has just flashed around there. And that's what it's done is downloaded that file to my computer. Now it's actually here. So it brings stuff down on demand as they come in. Um, things like a, a, G, a G sheet file or a Google form file or a Google document. Um, obviously it'll open those directly into your Chrome um, and into the um, Google document online. So now that PDF has actually been downloaded onto my computer, it's now instant in order to be able to edit it. And that's because it's kind of cached a copy on my local machine. So no need to download it um, after having uh, opened it the first time. Uh, team drives we'll talk about in another video, um, but that allows you to share sections of folders with contractors and departments within your company, or perhaps on a project basis as well. Now, when you're done with the installer, click close, and then we can move it to trash. And then if it stays remaining in the um, uh, in your finder window or something down here, you can just click on eject and that will get rid of that. To uninstall Google Drive, um, come into your applications folder on a Mac, uh, find the Google Drive icon, that's the one with the three colors on it. And then to uninstall that, you'll simply delete it and move it to trash and that will uninstall it. Uh, on Windows, you'll want to go into Add Remove Programs uh, and uh, uninst use the uninstaller provided. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy using Google Drive File Stream. Um, any issues with installing or using it, please let us know. Uh, it is a little bit scary to delete your Google Drive folder that you've been using and familiar with for some time, um, but rest assured that has all been synchronized to Google Drive before you do so, um, and then you can switch over to using the uh, Google Drive file stream version. Uh, any questions, please reach out. Otherwise, have a great day.